Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're going to take a look at AWS Artifacts. So in the top here, we're going to type in Artifact. And not to be confused with Code Artifact, which I guess is a new service. They're just always releasing new services, eh? And so here we have a, a video and some things, but uh, it's not too hard. All we got to do is go to View Reports. And from here, we have all the types of compliance programs or regulatory compliance programs that AWS is uh, meeting. And what we can do is search for something. So we type in Canada. And that's the Government of Canada Partner Package. And I can go ahead and download that report. So when you download it, you really want to open this up in... Um, you're going to really want to open this up in... Um, uh, Adobe Acrobat, because if you don't open it up in Adobe Acrobat, you're not going to be able to access the downloadables within it. I know that's kind of uh, odd to say, but that's just what it is. You do have to install Adobe Acrobat Reader. And once you have it open, and I'm just moving it over here, this is what you're going to see. And um, it's going to say like, hey, um, oops, <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. So please scroll to the next page to view the artifact download. And so I think that... If we go here, you know, they say scroll to the next page, but I'm pretty sure we can just go here on the left-hand side. And this is what we're looking for, that Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to save that attachment. Or actually, we just can open it up. Open this file. Okay, and we'll give it a moment. I have Excel installed. And there we go. There it is. Okay. So I know it's a little bit odd way to get to those um, uh, certificates or reports, uh, but that's just how it works. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the idea is like, if you need to prove that AWS is meeting whatever those standards are, you can just type them in, whatever it is. I mean, like maybe there's like FedRAMP, right? Whatever it is and download those certificate attestments, whatever, um, and just double check that AWS is meeting those standards, okay?